Hey guys, welcome back. So this episode is going to be how do I varnish my painting after it's done? And this is a dry result of a piece I not did not too long ago. Um, as you can see, it dried just absolutely perfect. Lacing held the cells, everything. I mean, it looks fabulous. So I am really, really excited to get some gloss on here. And what we're gonna use is Liquitex gloss varnish. And what I have here is a piece of very, very soft t-shirt. So here's the t-shirt. And what I did was I just used a spray bottle of water and got it damp. It's not sopping at all. It's just evenly damp throughout. And what I'm gonna do is fold it up. So that I have a flat surface just like that. And we're gonna put some varnish on the piece and I don't put a whole lot on there to begin with. So we're gonna start out with that. I'm gonna put a little bit on my rag. And we're gonna spread it around. And I do circular motions because it tends to do better for coverage for me. And what I'm doing is I'm looking in the light to make sure there's no big globs of uh, varnish left over to create lines. And there's not. I'm gonna run it over the sides. Everything looks covered. I'm gonna give it a fast torch. And voila, there is our first layer. I think there is a glob over there, but you know what? It's not gonna matter because we're gonna put several coats on here and it's gonna cover it. There's like a little round right there. Um, so that is coat number one. All right, some good time has gone by. It is nice and dry, that first coat. So we are gonna do exactly the same thing we did the first time. And we're just gonna put a little bit of varnish on there. We're gonna take our rag, uh-oh, put a little bit on my rag. We're gonna keep the surface of the rag flat. And we're gonna go in circles. And I'm watching in the light to make sure I don't get any big globs because that'll happen as soon as you pass through a big glob of the varnish. And that's why I go in different directions is to get those globs. Okay, we're good. We're gonna do the edges again. Now, after each coat, um, I will always give it a quick torch because going in circles sometimes gives it some air bubbles. Just quick. And then I always immediately go wash my rag and lay it out flat to dry so that it doesn't get any wrinkles in it. Um, but this is it so far. You can see that coat is nice and even. There's no lines. So we're gonna let that dry and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back for our third and I think maybe final coat. I don't know, we'll have to see what it looks like after this. So I've got my rag. Put a little bit of varnish on. 
put a little bit on the rag and start those circles. There's nothing prettier than some gloss on an already kind of blingy canvas. Cause there's some bling colors in here for sure. All right. I'm looking in the light. I don't see any globs or Mistakes, quick torch. And we will let this dry and I'll bring you back for the dried results. And here she is, all glossied up. You can see there's no streaks, no lines or anything like that. It's all even. And that is the easiest way I have learned to varnish a painting. I do all my paintings that way. Um, make sure you clean out your t-shirt very very well uh, wash it afterwards just I just rinse mine off really really well and uh, lay it out flat to dry and always when you pick it up to use it make sure that it's soft all over um, because it will start to dry hard after a while after you've used it enough times um, regardless of how many times you wash it and those hard lines are going to cause streaks um, so always make sure your cloth is soft. Um, <clears throat> but there she is. Now, if you want it glossier, you can definitely put on more coats. I know some people that, you know, put on six or seven coats and there is nothing wrong with that. But for me, this is good for this piece and uh, I'm happy with it. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk soon.